yellow. The lip gloss is continuing, shocking. And I'm wearing some very like layered jewelry today. And I was, I was hesitant, but I really have been into the like chunky layered jewelry look lately. I've been kind of into it for a while, but like unsure of what execution for me looked like and I recently got this Anne Boleyn style necklace off of Etsy. I absolutely love it. I will link to where I got it from below but the clasp is chunky and easy to use. The pearls look pretty and not like plasticky and cheap. This is very thin but like somehow not delicate. Anyway this isn't an ad for my necklace. This is a video about jewelry and so that's why I wanted to talk about it. I was just kind of hesitant to wear this with other things because I felt like it was like an on its own like sort of statement ish necklace but then I realized that like I've seen the chunky like layered necklace looks that I've seen have had things that were like statement necklaces like layered with other things and so like I needed to figure out how I wanted to do that in order to achieve what I want to do and this is what I came up with let me know what you think we have our little tea we have our little Kate Spade one in a million and then we have arguably my favorite necklace this little shimmer chain from Anna Luisa um, that I like. I kind of want to get another one because I feel like I'm over wearing her um, and I'm not sure if I wore two at the same time if they would like scratch, if they would fight, you know, and scratch each other and make both worse for the wear. I don't know, but we're talking about jewelry that I want today because I just feel like I need to expand my accessory collection in the same way that I in the last year have been able to expand my clothing collection. Am I actually going to buy any of these things? Very likely not, <laughs> um, unless I have, you know, a gift card or something's on sale or I'm getting myself a little gift, a little treat for some reason or another. But I just wanted to talk about how I've been feeling about accessories lately because I feel like accessorizing has become, we're not calling it accessorizing, we're calling it styling. I feel like accessorizing has been on the rise and accessorizing has just been very highly valued in Gen Z fashion and recent fashion, especially like online internet TikTok fashion. I talked about it a little bit in my spring trends video and I want to talk about it more here. Mainly I'm just going to be going through all of the jewelry that I have been thinking about as of late and talk about why I've been thinking about it and why I like it or why I don't like it and what I think that I want to add to my collection and why and maybe like why I haven't done that yet. Um, I haven't talked about this really at all. I talk about clothes a lot. Um, I don't really think I've talked about accessories much. I'm very picky. I'm very very picky about my jewelry and about my accessories because I've had a lot of jewelry that is just either turned my skin green or it's just turned this really gross brassy color really quickly and I have ended up throwing it out um, or losing it or it's gotten like this really gross knot or it's given me a rash on my neck just because it was cheap and so but I also don't have like a million dollars to spend on like luxury design or like super super nice jewelry so I'm looking for a balance of like quality but also affordability and also it has to be gold toned um like a yellow gold toned because I am a gold toned jewelry girly so all of the things that you see in this video are going to be gold toned a lot of them um are also sold in silver tone if they're not just pretend that they are if you are a silver jewelry girly. I feel like that's the majority of people. Let me know if you are a silver jewelry girly or a gold jewelry girly or if you are controversially a mixed metal girly. I really have no problem <laughs> with other people picking one or the other. I personally have chosen gold for myself and so all of my jewelry is gold toned. Okay, let's get into going through all of these cute shiny little pieces that I have bookmarked. There are so many. So how do I feel about the fish hooks? I feel like I'm the only one that doesn't like the fish hook earrings. I feel like it makes them look homemade and there's nothing wrong with earrings being homemade I don't know see see this is what I mean right off the bat I am a picky ass bitch and I just don't really like the look of the fish hook style earrings even though like I pinned these to my style mood board I think these are really really cute I like the little art nouveau black floral scalloped edge design I think they're really pretty and I think they would go with a lot of my outfits with like the black and the gold the fish hook thing is like I don't know if it's grandma-y there's something about it that turns me off please let me know 
if you feel the same way because honestly I feel like I'm the only one that feels this way and I'm crazy um because it's like a very common earring style um I wasn't going to talk about the charm necklaces until later, but let's just talk about them now because here are some of them. This is so cute. I think these are so cute and I love the colorful, vintage -y looking charms. There's kind of a lot of different like styles of charms that you can see on them. I obviously like the more like old looking ones. I like the ones that are gold toned. Um, I see this is a little bit too chunky for me. It's hard like finding like the perfect one, you know, that has like the size of like things that you want, but then also like the vibe that you want and you can pick your own charms. Ooh, these are really cute. I could sit here and like look at charm necklaces and bracelets for like ours and I kind of have I like how see these are all like kind of themed this is like a Florida one there's like a New York City one this is like a lover girl Christian one um yeah there are a lot of them that I really like let's go see I think this one is really cute too I like the chunkiness of this I think this one up top is a little much but I like the like there are all these charms on this one and then it's layered one with one charm I don't like that particular charm though and I don't know I like these specific charms I would want to change out a few of them I don't think you can do that on this one I think this one oh no this is like an actual product picture for this one so I'm not even sure what this like thing is it is unclear um but I like that one I like this one but I would want to change the charms I am just too picky and I think eventually I will find one that I like but it'll probably be once everyone is already over the trend which is very me. See I like this one too but I'm afraid the charms would be too dainty. Why is it wanting me to pin it to my Halloween board? I'm afraid the charms would be too dainty and it's hard if you don't see it. Like I like when people put it on and they like model on a person so I can see how chunky the charms will be. So charm necklaces aside, I really have been liking the pearls lately, but only in like certain iterations. And I know like I I like the pearls in certain iterations and I like chokers in certain iterations. And so I like the idea of a pearl choker. Um I really like this idea with like the bow because I like the bow choker idea, but again not in like the bolo tie way. I like the little like velvet ribbon. Um vibe of it and I like that this one's green I think this is very very pretty and I like I don't know there's something about the velvet ribbon thing it's giving a vampire vibe that I very much enjoy but like I'm so picky that like just the fact that this little dangly thing is silver nope won't get it, it needs to be gold like and I I hate that about myself I am my own enemy um but this is really cute I like the little one pearl drop this this is very hot topic but i do like the idea of um there was a necklace like this that was like very trendy for a little while it was like pearls with like little red beads that looked like um blood had been like splattered on them i like this third from the bottom one here because i feel like that's something that i could just wear with a normal like all black outfit during like October and it would just give it like a little bit of spooky vibe um but I feel like you have to be careful with things that are like themey like that because I feel like they can just lean not even costumey hot topic is the only way I know how to describe it it looks like fandom gimmicky jewelry you got from hot topic it's the best way I can describe it and you're wearing it to school because you want to be unique I'm describing myself in high school I'm judging myself here um not not any of you I'm judging myself because I was this person and I am afraid of and I look back and I cringe at that person um I have love for her but like I would like to be better in my style and my accessorizing going forward so this is me working on that this I love the way the snake is like wrapped around the chain it just looks so fluid and alive to me and like gorgeous I'm sure this is incredibly expensive but I just saw it and I was like I need to have that also um reputation tv outfit anyone I want a moon necklace but I don't want 
the moon necklace that I feel like everyone has. I don't know. There are just certain things that I want, but I cannot get them because I feel like everyone has them. And I don't want to feel like I have the same basic necklace as everyone else. I don't know if that makes sense because I have this one and I just grabbed my skin. I meant to grab this. Um, I have this one and I have this one, but like the, um, it's not paper clips, but they call it like the paper clip chain necklace. I'll put an example up here. I think those are really cute, but like every basic bitch, every clean girl um, has one and they're wearing them with the little croissant hoop earrings. Um, and I think those are kind of cute too. But again, if I were to wear those, get those and wear those together, I just feel like it doesn't come across as stylish. I don't feel stylish. I just feel like I'm following a trend and I think they're cute but that's why I, like I haven't spent my money on buying them because I feel like I'd rather spend my money on something that like really strikes me as unique and stylish and something that I look at and I'm like I want to wear that every day um and that's how I felt about this I thought about it for a while but Ugly Betty really like pulled me through I love that show I love America Ferrera and so like that kind of pushed me to get this I won't lie to you I felt that way about this I felt that way about this Kate Spade one in a million necklace it's just like it has all of the initials and it says one in a million on the back um they're really pretty and durable and the chain is really adjustable so I like I don't know I put all this thought into these things and then I never actually get them. So all that to say, I feel like every basic bitch has some sort of moon necklace. And I like that this one has this really serene um, face. It looks like it's from like a children's fairy tale or a, like, I don't know, like a good night moon book, like a bedtime story. Um, and I think it's really pretty. It is, of course, very expensive, but I think she's gorgeous. I'm not an ear cuff girl, but I think this is so cute to have that like in a first piercing hole and then like a normal earring in a second one and just have that on one ear and then like two other earrings in another one for like, I don't know, just like a little, little fashionable flair. I think that is so cute i like things that are like a little unique and different but not too unique and different or else i'm gonna call it like hot topic-y i and i don't i still literally when i am at like a mall or wherever like a strip mall or outlets or wherever with my friends you know we're going into hot topic and we're spending time in there don't get me wrong and i'll consider maybe even spending money like i'm not using that as an insult it is the best adjective that i have to describe what i'm talking about because the things that i did that I wore in high school and that my friends wore in high school that I find that level of cringe, they were from Hot Topic. Um, and like, again, cringe, um, cringe is fake. Actually, well, no, cringe is real. Cringe is something that describes something that exists, but like looking at something and cringing is just pointing out your own insecurities and your own like judgment um, of yourself and others. But anyway, I feel a little bit that way about ear cuffs sometimes just because I feel like they can be a lot. Um, but I think this one is really elegant and really sleek and really pretty. Um, I like ones that make it look like you have more holes in your ear than you do. I want a thick chunky chain necklace like this and I am sorry to say that the CD in the center of this indicating that it's from Dior I find very cute um and I have been sucked in by it can I afford this no <laughs> no do I want it yeah do I want the matching earrings absolutely I want a bracelet that has the hands holding as the clasp I want them to have I want it to be a strong magnet and I want them to go and I want that to be how the bracelet clasps. This is the closest I could find to it that didn't have absolutely awful reviews. Um, is that disappointing? Yes, I'm on the hunt for that because I just think that is so cute and like such a subtle detail to a simple gold bracelet and I need it. I think these are really cute. I pretty much know I would never wear them because they're like the fish hook earring style but I think they're really cute and like different and unique. And I would probably wear like one on like the back hole of one ear and one on the front hole, or maybe like these two together on one side and then something else dangly on the other side. I'm not sure I would style them, but I really like the idea. Um, and I think they're cute. I like specifically the idea of it being like laundry hanging on hangers um, and like the jeans being folded. There's something so artful and cute about that. I want bracelets, but every time I go to look for bracelets, I'm not sp talking specifically about this brand. This is just the website I have to be, happen to be on. Um, 
I really like this brand of jewelry actually. Um, big, big fan, highly recommend, very long lasting. It is where this sparkle chain that has lasted for so long is from. Every time I look at bracelets, I just like, I have to like it enough and find it interesting enough to want to put it on. And if it has a clasp, that's a lot of effort. That's a high effort ask. And so I have to really like that and I have to really want to put it on. And I just don't really feel that way about most bracelets. Um, and it's stupid. This is one of those things that I feel like is either really expensive and really nice to the point where I'll never be able to buy it or really cheap and doesn't look nice in person. I like this. I like... Here's the thing. I like the idea of a body chain. It would just, again, have to be the right one. And I would only wear it with, like, four outfits. But for those four outfits, ooh, girl, I would feel so cute. I really like this one with these little, I guess they're, like, pearls. They look very um, abalone-esque to me. $555? How are you joking? This is my experience on Pinterest. This is what Pinterest serves me is things that I love but I simply cannot buy for myself this too I would wear this with like five outfits but again so cute I love that it's like just a hoop here but then this part just is this really simple um thin gold chain but it's like let flow free and like corralled by this top part i just think it's really i'm doing a terrible job describing this but you can see it it's really pretty i love it watches listen i'm not a watch girly but for a vintage watch i could be i think look at this look at this freaking watch look at this with this cute like cherry wood band so cute and it's like the the artsy swirly clock or this, $114, you joking? I mean, I guess it's vintage, I understand. But like the dainty little, um, like thin bracelet-like gold watches for women, I love. And I think they're so cute. This one's like a bangle, I love. This necklace is on my birthday wish list. And I think it is like a low-key mermaid core. Um, it's like a little chokery, but I think you can also like let the clasps out um, to where it's not quite as chokery. And I like that it has like the crystal. I like the combining of like a crystal or even like a ceramic and gold. Um, and this I think does it in a really cute kind of, I don't know, just like beachy way almost. And I really like that. I feel like I would wear that a lot during summer. This, this goddamn clasp i love the chunky tiffany's necklace that has this little circle clasp in the center and so now i need a necklace that has that circle clasp in the center and it has to be chunky and it has to be like pretty much like the length of this um pearl one actually like not quite chokery a little bit longer than that i like this pearl iteration of it but i want like a chunky gold chain version of it like like this. Um, this is like that Christian Dior necklace that I wanted. This is the normal person version of it. So I want this. I want the Christian Dior one, um, which isn't happening, but I want this with the chain in the center. I want with the um, circle clasp in the center, and I want that clasp to be chunky. Isn't this the prettiest little bracelet you ever did see? What really like sold me on it is this like tassel clasp situation these like pull tassels I can't quite like see it up close but in theory I think it's very pretty and I like the idea that it's like this metal rope and you can pull them through this clasp and I think it's very elegant and pretty looking and just sparkly enough and just chunky enough I like her very much this is what I meant I like the idea of like uh, ceramic looking I'm sure this isn't ceramic um but you know what I mean um like a ceramic looking element mixed with gold or if it was like a ceramic like a little like tile chunk um like a Mediterranean like tile chunk or whatever like surrounded by like a gold plating I think that would be really cute um in like a dangly or stud fashion I'm sure that exists um I like the white and blue that was giving Grecian summer See, if I got little snug hoops, they would have to be square because I have to, I would have to be different because there's something deep inside me that's contrarian. Um, 
And I don't know if that's what it is or if it's just, I don't know. Like I said, it's that feeling of not being stylish and not making a choice for myself, but just following what everyone else is doing. Because it's cute, but like it just doesn't feel original. And I think it feels like something that I will get tired of and I won't want to wear once everyone else isn't wearing it anymore. Um, this is another, like I like the the jade um again I'm sure this is an actual crystal it's probably like enamel or whatever but the idea of it looking like jade um mixed with the gold and like only in certain ways but I like I like this one I like the idea of these like little like drop under earrings but I feel like they don't make enough I don't know I only have two ear holes on each side and so I feel like I have to be very discerning about my choices um, for all of them. And I frequently see these and I feel like they're just like a little, just a little too subtle. Um, if there was like a slightly chunkier version, I think I would like it. These are cute. Um, I want a like circle stud. That's definitely like on my list. And I kind of like that these ones are kind of chunky um, and big. Don't take a shot every time I say chunky in this video. I'm kind of starting to hate it, actually. But that's the way to describe a lot of the things that I like right now in fashion. Chunky is fashionable. Chunky is on trend. I feel like that's been true for a while. I need some of these. These, like, earring back lifters for, like, not really necessarily these earrings. Um, But I have some other ones that are, like, a little bit heavier. And they'll, like, lean forward. And I feel like I'm going to become an old lady that has a really long stretched out earlobe and I don't want to be that person. Okay, I feel you guys are going to get bored of hearing me ramble about my like weird picky opinions about jewelry and the jewelry that I want but don't have and I'm probably not going to buy all of anytime soon, but over time, over time, you know, I have jewelry now that I really, really wanted. Um, it all started with a necklace that's sitting over there and this bad boy and we built it from there. So, you know, we're getting there and we will build our pile of gold, our treasure chest, if you will, our jewelry box, eventually. Let me know if you think my opinions are stupid, if you agree with them, if you think I'm super picky um, and you agree with me, or you are just as picky and you don't think I am that much. Um, let me know what jewelry you are wearing, how you've built your stash of jewelry. I feel like I see so many girlies that just are so well accessorized and I have all of these rings and earrings and necklaces and bracelets and they just look so good. And my question is always like, where did you get all of that? And how is it all still in such great shape? Like, how is it not not all tarnished um like how 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 do how did build this collection um and maybe they just didn't spend all of their time wasted buying jewelry at Claire's all throughout high school and even the beginning of college maybe that's the answer I don't know um thank you guys so so much for being here and listening to my thoughts and ramblings about accessorizing mainly I guess accessorizing isn't just jewelry it's like bags and like other things too um so I guess just jewelry this week so thank you guys for listening to my ramblings about jewelry if you have any thoughts feel free to comment them down below or hop on over to my TikTok or my shorts and let me know what you think there. Follow me there. I am posting all of the time. I guess if you're getting YouTube shorts, you're already following me here, but follow me on TikTok. I'm posting all the time there. Follow me on Instagram if you would like to see more like personal lifey things and I will see you next week in the next one. Once again, thank you so much for being here. Mwah.